all right guys so in the previous video we have made a functionality of reading the blog now we will add a functionality of to delete and edit the blog so this is going to be your own mini blog that you can use and as you can see it is working very fine now we want to add the functionality of add and delete so let's just use it so we will have your blog.js file we will have your git and we will also have your git and we will use delete to be of id and we will have a request response and let's just copy it paste it right here and we have delete and just like that we have edit so first of all what i will do is i will simply grab that id so i will use your id is equal to request dot params and we will use your blog dot delete one and we will delete according to the basis of id we will provide this id and we will have your promise and we will have your callback so i will just console dot log that uh, deleted blog success fully now we want to redirect the user to the home page so we redirect, redirect the user now we will have any error then we just want to simply look, say that console.log that error so i think it's fine now let's just go to the index.js file and provide error delete copy paste and we will have error primary and danger and we will have a delete block or let's just say delete and if i click on the delete folder or i mean if i click on the delete so just note down here this is the title one and if i click on the delete as you can see our blog has been deleted so as you can see our blog is being deleted so now we have successfully managed how to delete let's just use let's just see how to edit the blog so i will just grab same id from the request.params so once we have that i will fetch the blog so const get data is equal to await blog dot find one and i will find on the basis of id and we need to also make this a synchronous function and we will render that we will render that edit blog and we will send the data to be of blog to be of get data so i think it's fine now and let's just copy this and paste it right here and we will have the ejs and it will be same as compose blog let's just remove this all i'm getting a lot mess around so as you can see it is same but we need to change something right here so we will have a edit and we will have here uh, the same id as we have passed so we will have a uh, blog dot id and method of to be post and we will have a value to be of let's say blog dot title copy this so just remove one white spaces copy it and just paste it right here and we will have content so that's fine now we need to make also a, a route for the post so we will have a dot post we will have a edit we will have your id we will have request response and we will grab that title content from the request dot body and we will update that so i will write a blog dot update one 
and we want to update on the basis of id to be of id dot the and sorry we need to also provide some data to be of title of title so we can just condense it like that and content to be of content and we will have a dot then and if that was successful i will just console dot log that successfully updated the blog and we want to redirect the user to the home route and if there were any error then we just simply want to console dot log that error so i think it's fine now let's see so we want also uh, edit so we will have our edit instead of button danger we will have a warning refresh it and we have a delete so we want to be of edit let's just use and if i click on the edit for edit as you can see we are getting the title but we are missing with some content so if i go to the back as you can see the content is still there but i am not getting the content right here but we are getting the title so let's fix this error so we are grabbing the content sorry we want uh, in the text area field not in the value field right let's just refresh as you can see we are getting and instead of compose blog uh, we will have save changes so save changes and let me just give you uh, extra stuffs if i click on the save changes as you can see we are getting that id is not defined so let's just see where is the error we have in the blog.js file 32 32 line so we are not so we have actually haven't grabbed that id from the request.params so we need to grab that So let's just use here again extra stuffs and if I click on the save changes as you can see we got it extra stuffs and let's just use in the content field as well magazine article this is the extra content save and if I click on the read more as you can see this is the extra content so finally we have built the successfully a blog app fully functional that uses CRUD operation read write delete edit everything that is required so i have just given you the basic terminology of how to you can build a blog app so now you can take it to the next level if you want to add authentication you can add admin pages you can do anything at all you can do anything literally anything so just take it to the next level and make it more beautiful and more reusable so I will provide this source code in the description so make sure to watch that I mean download that if you want to so stay tuned for upcoming tutorials now I am going to start a new series of Python and JavaScript from beginner to advanced